That's part of the political correctness of not wanting to admit people are getting mugged and thugged and that it's racially based. That's the new excuse. In the old days, a group of guys, black or white, would get together and they'd go to a local gay bar and they would roll and beat up and rob the gay guys coming out, figuring, you know, they weren't tough guys or whatever, at least the stereotype. And they'd beat them up and rob them. They'd mug them. But it was okay because, you know, those guys didn't normally mug people. They only mugged them because they were gay. Well, that's terrible. Well, the new thing is mugging white people. And I know that all over downtown Austin, it's been happening a lot. I know a bunch of people, Hispanic and white, that have been mugged. And then not once, not twice, but three times the last year, I was on East 7th, East, you know, places, great restaurants, best restaurants in Austin. It's gentrified over there. A lot of money's come in. As good a restaurant as you'll find in New York City. And I'm not a pushover guy. And I, and But, I mean, not once, not twice, but three times. I'm talking black guys that probably weighed 275 pounds each time, arms that big around. You're getting in your car, and somebody's like, I really need some money. That's all I'm telling you. I hope somebody gives it to me. I got big problems. And I'd get in a fighting stance, and I'd go, listen, I don't want any trouble. You better find somebody easier. They'd say, listen, all I want is some money, and nothing's going to happen. I'm not saying you got to give me money. But somebody better give me some money. I'm talking roided up, crazy looking people. And in one of the cases, because I don't always carry one because my kids are in the car sometimes, I jumped out of the seat and you know, by then the guy ran off. He figured out what, he, what was about to happen. But I mean, I didn't even call the cops because they won't do anything, folks. It's a shakedown, just like on the New York subway. That's a really nice watch. And you're like, yeah, thank you. And my grandfather gave it to me. Yeah, well, uh, I'd really like it. People sit on both sides of you. This is the same thing that goes on. And then no one's supposed to talk about it. No one's supposed to deal with it. And then the Chamber of Commerce puts pressure on radio stations that carry this show in cities because they don't want that news out. Folks, that's what's going on. That's what's happening. That's what's unfolding. And that's what the media has pushed as normal and okay and acceptable, and it's not. And so I've never gone and got my concealed carry. I've been too busy. But you know what? I'm going to have to take some days off or something, and I'm going to have to go over to Cargill's and take it because it is expanding, it is getting bad, and it is sad, and... I can officially tell you, basically, a race war has already been started by the White House in this country, and it's despicable, and it's wrong, and I literally prayed last night that the crazy white supremacists, some of them are veterans and people, <laughs> because I'm going to tell you, folks, I've studied history, and when white people go crazy, I mean, one buck-toothed kid killed nine people, it's going to be bad. I and the ADL and Southern Poverty Law Center and MSNBC and all these groups, they know what they're doing. They're winding up black people to go out and attack white people knowing unstable white supremacists are going to just go in a church or, or a urban black mall or something. And my God, it's going to be bad. I mean, just we got to pray this stops right now because then they're going to come after everybody's guns. I can just see the plan. They're going to have reconciliation, national committees and It'll, we've all got to be politically correct now. And we've all got to submit to whatever the government says and use the language the government says. And we've got to have, you know, reparations or whatever, but it won't be reparations. It'll be more tiny handouts just to federalize the black and other poor communities to further screw everybody over and break up their families. It is such a diabolical plan. But I had a responsibility to go on Austin Radio. And I was taken off Austin Radio, and I wasn't told exactly why, but I was told at the grapevine that it was because I was, didn't matter how high my ratings were, didn't, didn't matter. And this has happened before. I'm not going to shut up because of that. And other stations, but we gain more stations for stations we lose, and we have an Austin affiliate. The point is, is that this is going on, and sweeping it under the rug isn't going to hide it. You know, the fact that cops are getting shot... And the fact that a guy went in and shot a reporter and a cameraman because they were white and the media wouldn't even say it was racially motivated. Yes, it is. And it's wrong. And it's got to be stopped.
we need communities to come together the same way we saw in Charleston when we sent Jakari Jackson up there coming together and saying, we're, as a community, black, white, doesn't matter. We're decrying this and we're against this and we're sorry for what happened. So we need to see black people come out. And I know they are saying it, but in any forum you can and say, this is wrong. We don't appreciate this. We don't support this. And when you hear racist people buying into Rachel Maddow and MSNBC and MTV, listen, Sumner Redstone and Rachel Maddow want to abort your babies. They want you drugged out in the CIA-run inner cities. They want you on the Democratic Party plantation. They are your enemy. The Liberty Movement is your friend and wants to empower you and wants to see you be a leader. And we want to elect Tea Party black leaders because they're some of the most articulate, best people out there, like that Sheriff Jakari and Biggs had on yesterday, that former deputy police officer, Marine, running for sheriff down in Harris County. That's the kind of sheriff you need. A constitutionalist, Carl Pittman. I want to get him back on the show next week on this show. That's the kind of people we need that are patriots, endorsed by Arpaio, endorsed by Richard Mack, and not because they're black, but because they're patriots. But also, these are cities that are half black. We do need to have patriot black leaders, not leaders like Al Sharpton, pushing division and evil, but promoting freedom and prosperity. That's what we need. That's what needs to happen. That's what needs to be promoted. And we need to recognize what Sheriff Clark is saying of Milwaukee and others. This is the White House trying to start a race war, starting a war on police to intimidate the police into bending over to the globalist, because it's not the feds. I keep saying the feds are taking over. The feds have been captured. And now they're going to come in and say, we'll take the heat off. We'll have Black Lives Matter back off, but you first have to do whatever we say. You do that, this purge is never going to end. Don't be stupid, and I know some of you are not stupid. And I don't mean that condescendingly. The general public's pretty dumb, and they draw cops from that same pool of people. And I see plenty of arrogant, power-tripping cops. They can be black, they can be white, they can be Hispanic. You can tell a thug cop looking at them versus a peace officer. And they're a big problem. But the system wants to recruit people like that to ruin your ancient and honorable order, your, your, your fraternal system. You're being crapped all over by the New World Order so you can be scapegoated. But I'm not going to blame you for having the crap all over you. I'm going to look at the New World Order that's the one doing it, the one putting it all over you. But you've got to learn not to defend the garbage. You've got to get it out of your midst. And you've got to realize you are under scientific attack because once you fall and law and order falls during the destabilization, they're going to bring martial law in and they're going to take the guns and they're going to start arresting the patriots. And then they're going to have you come after the patriots and the patriots are going to have to fight back. And that's what's really going to wipe the police out. You think some mentally ill people shooting a few cops? Is anything compared to when they start a civil war and people have to defend themselves? Make the decision now, police and military, which I know you're doing, not to serve the globalist, but to defend the republic. Choose wisely. I don't see a lot of men out there anymore like my grandfather's brothers. They were just good, hardworking, smart, funny, charming, honorable people. There still are people out there like that. A lot of them are in our military. A lot of them are in the police departments. And that's why there's a move to infect and corrupt and take over the police departments. Because once they fall, we're done. The globalists hate this country because of what it stood for. And they want to destroy it. They don't want to just conquer it. Now, I'm going to open the phones up in the next hour. Here's the toll-free number. They got a manhunt going on in this town in Illinois, shutting everybody's houses down. Basically bringing martial law in. See how this senselessness brings in the climate the globalists want? And what do you expect the police to do when they start getting hunted? They're going to go crazy. Then that's going to make it worse. We're going to be breaking it all down in the next hour. 
the huge immigrant invasion collapsing Europe. That's mainstream media words, not mine. The huge stock market correction ongoing. The election news all of it. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. Open phones in the second hour. 800-259-9231 on this Tuesday. Already hard to believe the first day of September 2015. You know, we fund our operation with high quality products at InfoWarsStore.com and the subsidiary site InfoWarsLife.com has our high powered nutraceuticals. Secret 12 is vitamin B12 methylcobalamin, the truly organic absorbable type combined with another formulation of B12 that activates absorption. This is the type people inject. This is not for injection. It's taken under the tongue. You want dramatic, clean energy that supercharges the whole body. This is the best vitamin B12 we could put out. The formulators marvel that we actually come to the big official factories and, and, and want them to produce things like this. They say this is what the industry should be. It has five-star reviews. It's 10% off this week of Secret 12 available at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Super Male Vitality is amazing as well. That's available at InfoWarsLife.com. But here's a review by the saddle makers, Eureka Nevada. We both love this product. I guess they make saddles too. We buy five bottles at a time, the best product I have ever taken with results so noticeable. So easy to take. Have go power all day long. Having a product that works so well, available so easy, it's amazing. We call it pep sauce or our secret sauce. Yeah, that's why I call it Secret 12. Thank you. Well, thank you, the saddle makers. Other review. Works great. Quality. Glad I am now getting B12 I need. There's nothing bad about this product. Keep up the good work. Melanie. And that's in Evergreen State, Tacoma, Washington. InfoWarsLife.com, Super Mel Vitality, Prostagard, X2, all of it. All right, we'll be back with the second hour and your phone calls and a ton of news. Well, undoubtedly, if somebody flipped the light switch the last two years, it's called the White House, the Ford Foundation, MSNBC, Media Matters, all the usual camp following of rats to make every problem in the world white people. And then as unemployment doubles in the black community, worse than every other group under Obama, uh, as the drugs get shipped into their communities, as things unravel, as the family collapses, as we go into serious recession slash depression, folks are now taking out their rage on white people and the police. And there are serious problems with the police, obviously. But racial attacks on whites, beatings, shootings, killings, the media has tried its best to cover this up. Just can't do it anymore. Not when it's basically a daily basis now. Or every two days, a reporter, a cameraman, a sheriff's deputy, a police officer in Illinois. We don't know what this is yet, but it looks like an execution again at getting his oil changed at the gas pump at a gas station. And the police are finally getting it right, going, this is a war on police. This is racially motivated as well. But why... Would MSNBC and CNN and the White House and the Ford Foundation do this? Because it's a plan to destabilize the country. The rest of the story is the problem. Yeah, it's bad to have cops getting killed. And it's starting to become a real epidemic. But still, more cops get killed in car accidents. I'm not saying any of it's good. It's terrible. But it shows the mind control taking place through the controlled media. And it shows if you don't respond through your unions and through the media, and really get aggressive like Sheriff Clark has done, and call it what it is, a premeditated program. We can't stop it. You've got to address the diabolical plan if you're going to beat it. And I know you think the public isn't ready to hear this stuff. It doesn't matter. Facts are facts. The only way to counter a criminal conspiracy of this magnitude is to go up against it. And you've got to decide, you're going to serve the New World Order? You're going to be corrupt? You're going to have a leg in both worlds? You can't do that. You want to be with a dishonorable, narcotics trafficking, child trafficking, snuff film making, New World Order mega banks 
that are running ISIS and he's stabilizing the world and overthrowing Ukraine and George Soros, the same people.